Throw arms up and surrender. I give there up. There we go. Oh, why well, I just go away from this in the third quarter. Well, how many times can you say that? A lot. Well, yeah, evidently a lot. <laughs> I tried to talk to Tommy. The last game Bill was the coach at Arkansas, I remember Tommy telling me about going up there, though, too. It was like 30 degrees and he was freezing. Right. Oh, to the scoreboard. Oh, well, damn, don't wake up the zombies with that, that, that bird. Right. Really? We should be able to find out uh, who won between uh, Little Rock, Robinson, and. Uh, Yeah, I think so. You're the type of guy who would burp so light you'd start the zombie apocalypse. Oh, you know, I, I think I finally read about how the zombie apocalypse is going to begin. Oh, how's that? Well, uh, in uh, uh, Denmark. Yes. Denmark. Denmark, really? Yes. In Denmark, here a couple weeks ago, they found uh, self-replicating crayfish living in a cemetery in Denmark. Oh, no. So, I, I mentioned that this, in 2020, this is how the zombie apocalypse begins. And somebody says, yes, and the next thing will happen is, is the Cajun will, a Cajun will catch some of the crawfish in Denmark and cook them up and bring them to Louisiana to eat. And then that's how it starts in Louisiana. And then everybody that eats the, uh, Zombie crayfish becomes zombies, and then it just goes from there. Oh, Phil, if that ends up happening, I'm going to kill you. It's a great, it's a great start to a story, man. You've got, you've got a, you've got a great zombie apocalypse start right there. It's That's all it. about the self-replicating crayfish in a cemetery in Denmark. Great. I'd rather just deal with it. I'd rather be at the redneck and grapple with shriekers and ass blasters. Thank you very <laughs> much. Than have to deal with these crayfish. Shriekers and ass blasters, I know how to kill them. I don't know how you kill uh, zombie crayfish. That's a good question. I mean, you know. Yeah, I'll just, I'll dangle them dangle, and dangle, dangle you in front of a pool. Just, <laughs> on, uh, around a pool of them and see how, how well they respond. Well, evidently, if you uh, just put some hot sauce in pool and water, crayfish hop right into that. Oh, good. I feel like Bill Lingville in uh, the Here's Your Sign. All right, Jimmy got that shark suit on. Looks good. Yeah. I want you to jump in this pool of sharks. And you tell us if they buy it or not. All right. Hold my son. Hold I don't want son. to lose it. Yeah. Oh, God. That first music video with him and Travis Tripp was so that damn was funny. That was good. So, I'm driving around and I get a flat on my car. Pull, this di- pull my truck on the side of the gas station. And, and, uh, Tenant walks out and he goes, uh, tire go flat? No, oh, I'm uh, driving around the other three, swelled right up. Driving around the other three, swelled right up on me. Idiots. Here we go. Now, there's also like the guy in, uh, now when Bill did the Jeff Foxworthy show with them, oh my god, they were crazy. Yep. Yep. Yeah, the hunting rifle with the bullet in the chamber. Oh. How stupid can you be? Funny, but stupid. Funny. Yep. 